Well, we call it Rodeo 101. What it is is just an introduction to rodeo. So today we're starting off with little miniature bucking horses and tomorrow is the little miniature bucking bulls. And what we're doing is we're just giving these uh, youth from Sacame a chance or to experience what rodeo is about. Some of them might move on and really want to do it full time. Um, some of them will say, hey, I just gave it a shot and I tried. First Nations people, especially the Plains Indians, were really uh, horse culture people. And now there's a new event called the Indian Relay Race. So it's become really popular. We want to promote uh, non-alcohol and drugs. So really the clean uh, you know, life with no addictions. Rodeo is a really tough sport. We had 20 people sign up. Only seven showed up. If we can get one or two of them to advance and continue on, they're the ones that we want to work with and really show them that alcohol and drugs aren't the way if you want to be a rodeo cowboy. I think this group here is going to go home. They're going to hear about it. They're going to see that this group tried it. They're going to talk about it, and we're going to get some more kids involved. We'll teach them that, uh, you know, the values that, you know, that old cowboy from the past that partied and drank and whatnot, that doesn't exist anymore. I ride horses at my uncle's. We're riding the machine because they kind of practice up. Because some people didn't know how to ride a bull or a horse. We're going to ride the real horses for eight seconds. I've been riding for about five, five, six years. Uh, my family, my whole family is into rodeo. And uh, yeah, my dad just asked me when I was a little kid, what do you want to be? And I was like, I want to be a bareback rider and bull rider. It's just the rush and I like the people and I like to get on wild, wild horses and bulls.